Fajita Key. So we are at the airport and we are about to head off to Sydney for a work trip, which is really exciting, but uh, we decided to come a couple days early and Max, my boyfriend, is tagging along, which is really cute and exciting. And it's the first time he's been on a plane, I think, in a few years. So I am gonna take you along with me for the fun parts, but also for what I'm up to for work, because it's very exciting. All right, I gotta go. Okie dokie, so we are in Sydney and we are in our hotel, which is very exciting. So I figured I would give you a quick little room tour that is a preview, but uh, yeah, it is a really simple, really beautiful, minimal, lovely room. We're staying at the Radisson um, in the Sydney CBD. Um, it's very nice so far. And the staff are really cute and nice too. Anyway, first of all, loving the wall detail. That is very cute. Everything's all kind of blue and gold kind of vibes. And we have my boyfriend coming out of the closet. <laughs> There's only one robe. Oh no, only one robe. Sorry. What are we going to do? We can share. As you can see, there's a window through to the bed so you can wave at people from the bathtub, which is also a really good feature. <laughs> Ooh, I really like the kind of classic style bathroom. That's cute, nice big sink. Mm. Good sink. That's a, that's a substantial bathroom mirror. Cute for little outfit pics, although I am just wearing like jeans and t-shirt because I was on a plane, so comfort first. So we're just waiting for our bags, which they very kindly took for us, which was nice. And I was like, are you sure? But then I'm like, it is a hotel. That's like a thing that they do, which is nice. So I was like, cool. Um, and then we're gonna go, I guess, get some lunch. Do you think? Yeah, 100%. Hungry and do some exploring. We have dinner reservations tonight, which I am quite excited about. It's gonna be good. Um, just like a light lunch, because we are gonna eat a lot <laughs> at dinner. Hmm, got my nifty new tripod. Professional woman. Um, I just got quickly changed from the airport because we've got an early dinner booking at like 5.30 and we want to do some walking around and go see some things. So we didn't know if we would come back before we went out for dinner. So I thought I would get, you know, kind of cute, casual cute. Actually, <laughs> I think everything's from Princess Polly. Not planned, okay? Not, this one, this video is not in collaboration or sponsored or anything, but I really have been in love with this jacket and this little combo that I put on my Instagram. So yeah, got the, too cute for you top and this little kind of cotton linen blend mini skirt and a little patchwork denim jacket and i got little butterfly clips so cute we're gonna go hang out and get some food and maybe do some thrifting around the area and then we'll go for dinner but yeah i will bring you with me of course so let's go okay we got our sandwiches Yeehaw. Mm. Oh yum, that looks so good. Yeah, it's good. Hmm? Yummy? Mm. Looks really good. Just had the pork one. It was good. Not my favorite. I'm more excited for the mango. Boy, so. How am I? <laughs> I'm quite... It's like a user cream, so it's kind of like zesty. Okay, so the plan is now that we're gonna go have a look at some of the thrift stores in the area. This is the same area, Surrey Hills, that I came to with Alex, Millie, and Tiasha a few months ago. We're gonna go do some thrifting, and then we only got dinner in like an hour or so. An hour or two? Um, two hours. Two hours. So, let's go. The lighting is really pretty.
schauen. Okay, good morning. I slept like a little baby, but we are up and ready this morning because we're gonna go to Bondi Beach. As you can tell by my facade, I'm very much a beach person. I don't think I've, oh, I think maybe I went to Bondi when I was a kid, but it's been a really long time. Have you ever been to Bondi? Yeah. Oh, you have? Okay. We've both been to Bondi, but uh, we wanted to go for breakfast and a little walk. Just get some of that delicious ocean goodness in. I will also quickly show you my outfit for today. Um, this is a Meshki sports bra. These are Lululemon shorts. I have, this is the first time I'm trying Lululemon. Uh, I had mixed feelings about it, but these shorts are very, very good. They're very comfy and they don't ride up at all, which is amazing. Just my little same sneakers I wore yesterday. Um, this top is like a thrifted Ralph Lauren kind of one. And the hat is from Princess Polly. Okay, be a fit check. Slay the Birkenstocks. So we've um, stepped outside and we've immediately realized that it's actually not warm. <laughs> it's kind of chilly and we're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's like, what, like 20 degrees? Uh, Anyway, it's still gonna be fun, but yeah, funny. Yes, they have the weird cha time ads here. We have made it to the beach, but we are hungry, so we're gonna go get some food first, and then we're gonna come back for walkies. Oh, that was meant to be a cute. Hello. Okay, we did not have any luck getting into Bill, so we gave up. <laughs> We're not gonna wait like 40 minutes for pancakes. I mean, I... but not today. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go get breakfast somewhere else. There's two of us. <laughs> we had a little breakfast pretty good. I do that thing where you bite your lip and then you bite your lip again, which is very talented and very slay of me. <laughs> but we didn't eat much because we have a big lunch, big lunch plans. Um, but now we're going to go for a little walk on the beach and I'm approaching it. You can't see it, but I can. And yes, walkies. Walkies. Lunch was so good. Um, I just bought my mum some tea from her favourite place. And now we're just uh, walking around and gonna grab some chocolate and drinks. Just chilling. We do be walking. It's such a beautiful day. It's like six o'clock or something, but daylight savings is crazy. <laughs> okay, I have barely vlogged today. We basically after yum cha at lunchtime at around like one o'clock we basically just walked around sydney like we walked all the way around the harbor brangaroo uh we went through the park we did a huge walk my step count immaculate um so it's now like eight o'clock <laughs> so we've been walking for like five hours <laughs> slay it was really fun though i really enjoyed it but um yeah we were just chilling and chatting so i didn't really have much to share with you. Oh, you can see me vlogging with my phone. That's very classy. Um, so now we're going to try and grab like just a small bite because obviously we had quite a big lunch and we had some little snackies in the afternoon. We had Yomi's 
have a rice yogurt, which is elite. One of my favorite snacks in Sydney. Have probably have a chill evening. Okay, hello. We did not manage to find much for dinner <laughs> this evening. It was uh, slim pickings in the Sydney CBD on Sunday night after 8 p.m., which is fair enough. So we just had a couple snacks from the supermarket. Very glamorous. But now I am glamorously in my robe and I am taking off my makeup after a long day of traipsing around Sydney and I figured I'd just have a little chat with you and tell you why I'm in Sydney. It's very exciting. So tomorrow I am going to be filming a couple of videos with the Korean Cultural Center of Australia. And we're gonna be making content all about Korean skincare and Korean makeup. Speaking of which, this mascara I'm wearing is so strong and I'm hoping Yes, this makeup remover is gonna take it off well. You need one of those like fancy, you know, dual phase kind of makeup removers to take it off. It's weird for me to keep talking to you like this, just vibing. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna to be filming with the lovely team from the Korean Culture Center. They've got in touch with me, a very glamorous woman. <laughs> because they have an upcoming event all about Korean beauty, and as some of you may know, I am quite the K-beauty fan. <laughs> Both the skincare and makeup I use is a real mix. <laughs> This is one of those really strong mascaras, so I'm just letting it marinate in the remover juice. But as a lot of you will probably know, I'm a huge K-beauty fan, and I would say my makeup and skincare kind of routine is definitely a mix of both Western products, but also especially Korean beauty products, because I just, how can I even begin to count the ways that I love Korean beauty? I have been into K-beauty for, I wanna say, over 10 years now. Um, I think, yeah, maybe 11, 2011, something like that. I can't exactly remember how, but I know it was Etude House and I was like so enraptured by it and I was going back to visit Hong Kong and I was so excited that there was an Etude House there and they had an Innisfree and like, you know, kind of that and um, shopping for Korean beauty in Sasa, which is this Hong Kong kind of retailer. It was just like so exciting to me. So anyway, all this to say, I've been a K-beauty fan for a really, really long time. And I just feel like Korean beauty has and continues to be super innovative. Like the formulas that come out of there, the textures and like the trends, I just, they really speak to me. I get really excited about it. Um, so I was really, really fun when the Korean Cultural Center team reached out to me and asked if I would want to collaborate with them on some content about Korean skincare and makeup and kind of just introduce people in Australia to um, some of the amazing brands and products that come out of Korea. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> because it's a bit different to kind of my normal gig that I do. But I'm very excited. Honestly, half of it is because I'm just like an extroverted person and I'm just excited to like talk everyone's ear off and be a menace. <laughs> and I'm not really the type of person to get nervous about public speaking or anything like that. Um, I just want to make sure I'm doing a good job and not blabbing too much, like I'm getting to the point. Um, but don't worry, we got notes, we got a script, so shout out to Jenny for working with me on that. She's very lovely, I'm so excited to meet her tomorrow. But, you know, I've had to give like talks and stuff when I worked in corporate and sometimes they just make me nervous because it's like a topic that I was like, oh, I guess I just have to talk about this. But I'm so passionate <laughs> about this topic, like I'm sorry in advance to the editor because I'm gonna have to really like, keep myself on track because I can just talk for so long about the amazing Korean skincare products and makeup products and like trends in the K-beauty industry and the techniques and the creators from Korea who just make the most amazing beauty content. And I'm not gonna talk about too much of what I'm gonna chat about tonight because when this video comes out, um, you'll only have to wait, I think, a week for the first video to come out on the Korean Cultural Center's YouTube channel and then another week for the second one. So there's two videos. Very, very excited. So speaking of which, I have been testing some products from Innisfree and this is their green tea cleansing water. I did have to use this little Holica Holica eye makeup remover, which is also another Korean skincare brand, just to get my really intense mascara off. It's the Romand mascara and it's, it's got the range, it's got the strength. So I just took that off and now I'm just using Innisfree cleansing water to take this off. I need to take a shower to make sure my hair is not gross. <laughs> for tomorrow because we are filming. So I need to be a glamorous little rat woman instead of just a little rat woman, which I understand is a tall order for me. <laughs> I've been testing products from Innisfree and Jenny has been testing products from Round Lab, which is a really cool brand and I haven't actually tried anything from Round Lab yet. 
um, but I've heard a lot about it online. But of course, Innisfree, especially their green tea line to me, is such a classic. Like, Innisfree is one of the cream beauty OGs, and for a lot of people, I think overseas, getting into Innisfree was probably one of the first brands you probably got into. Um, and I quite like this green tea cleansing water. It's very like chill, it's a micellar type of water, and just like, what a delicious little cotton pad for my <laughs> daily gunk. So yeah, the Innisfree products are for the video about skincare. And then the other video that we're gonna be doing is one all about makeup and kind of Korean makeup trends. One of which I've seen, and again, let me know down below if you are into Korean beauty and makeup and you've noticed this as well, but the kind of concept of personal color has been so, so popular in uh, K-beauty. Like especially a lot of brands have been releasing a collection of lip colors, like a new lip tint. And then when you kind of look at the information on the website, they'll basically say, oh, this color is best for, you know, an autumn warm, or this color is best for a summer cool nude or something like that. So they're kind of saying, based on your personal color, which we'll tell you how we figured ours out in the video, based on your personal color, these are makeup products that is gonna bring out your best features, like naturally kind of things. And it was so funny because my mom was telling me in the 80s when she was a teenager, they had personal color too as a concept, like what season are you? And like, these are the colors you should wear kind of thing. But I find that the Korean personal color and like the way I've seen it described on blogs online and by YouTubers and the way it's sort of talked about is a little more nuanced. But in order to prep for the video, <laughs> I had to do my personal color test and it's based on a couple things but one of the particular calculators online does it by your skin tone your eye color and your hair and i obviously change my hair color a lot but this hair color i have at the moment is quite similar to my natural hair color so i put in a picture of myself and i kind of dragged little droppers and it told me and it confirmed my suspicion because i was pretty sure i had this like sensation i looked at all the different ones you can be there's autumn spring summer winter and i was like i feel like i'm a summer like just all the colors that are sort of the best meant to accentuate the beauty of the summer i was like i resonate with this like baby blues lilacs i was like yeah, yeah, yeah that feels like me and more, most importantly i feel like there was a lot of emphasis on like clean whites like bright whites rather than like a cream or an ivory and i was like that sounds familiar <laughs> if you've watched this channel before you will know that sounds familiar so anyway i am a summer cool Anyway, so I'm getting overly excited and you can see my little bare baby face, but I need to have a shower, I need to get clean, I need to do a sheet mask, I need to do my skincare routine because I have got to get ready for this shoot and I'm so excited. So I'm going to leave it there for now and I will see you in the morning. Okay, bye. I'm so excited. I need to like be more zen, but I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> levitating. Not to be sincere this time of the evening, but thank you so much for all your support because um, they found me through YouTube, so very exciting opportunity. Okay, I look like a little pink tomato woman. I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay, good night. Okay, this outfit is very, um, like irritating private school boy, but we are just about to head out for a quick bite to eat. Hopefully we can get into a little cafe that I quite like in the city. I came there, well, I went there like a little while ago, um, and I really like it, so hopefully we can get in there. Um, and then I'm going to come back and get everything ready. I don't have to put makeup on this morning because we are shooting a video where we put makeup on first. So I'll just come back and make sure my skin's looking extra juicy. Um, and then that is going to be today. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, morning voice. So we are back. We had a really good breakfast and I just got ready. I didn't have to put any makeup on because the first video we're filming today is one where we're putting makeup on. <laughs> so didn't seem much use in doubling up on that. I just wanted to share with you my makeup bag that I packed up for today's shoot. And I just figured I'd run you through a couple things. So as you can see, it is quite full, but that is because we have quite a lot of full-size products that we're gonna be talking about. Um, normally when I travel, I just take little minis, but we're talking about these big boys here. <laughs> so in here we have all of the Korean skincare, a couple of little minis that I like to take to bulk out my routine. And we've got some of the stuff from the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Skincare line. So we've got the eye cream, 
the moisturizer, the cleanser, the serum, which I am obsessed with. It's like a new formulation. I tried the old one ages ago when I first got into K Beauty, but this new one is really, really good. And I also have the cleansing water, but it was a bit too chunky to fit in here, so I've just popped it in my bag. Um, I've got my perfume um, and all of these Korean lip products, which we'll talk about in the video as well. Just some cotton buds and cotton pads. My eyelash curler, very important for me. <laughs> my very straight lashes. And we have uh, quite a bit of makeup in here. We've got some cushions, the Laneige one, a Clio one. We've got the Peri Pera eye palette. I have used this so much. It is upside down, but it is amazing. All of the Peri Pera eye palettes from this line are so, so good. This EG Lips compact is so convenient. And I love the packaging. It's kind of hard to show you with just one hand, but it has like a plastic kind of cover over the powder that separates the puff from the powder, which I think is really cool. Um, my little 3CE cushion blush, um, some concealer and my eyebrow. Oh, and you can see the Romand mascara, which I am in love with. It is hard to get off, but it is so, so amazing. We've also got some brushes in there as well. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to see kind of the makeup we use in the video when it comes out. But I just want to give you a little sneak preview. And with that, I am going to call my Uber. I am going to get headed to the set. Just wearing a little lilac shirt and some jeans. Uh, but yeah, all right, my Uber's coming, so I'm going to skedaddle. See ya! I'm here with Jenny and lovely Nathan, who's yeah, <laughs> and we are ready to film video one, which is all about Korean makeup. Best colors from Olive Young. Olive Young, yes. And personal color. We're both wearing our. Do you need to know what my uh, her personal color is? My personal color. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we're looking really glowy and fresh because we're skincare only at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's good. And it's a little warm. It's very hot. <laughs> it's getting a little warm here, but it's things we do for content and filming. Yeah. So yes. We will check back on you later, but let's get video one done and done. Yes. yes. Hi, I'm Jenny from the Korean Cultural Center. I manage events and concerts. Hi everyone, I'm Lucy. I am a fashion and lifestyle content creator and I am also a K-beauty fanatic. In Korea, you can actually go to a place to get checked out mm. on your personal color. They have like the drapes and <laughs> the you can experts. like- The experts. The yeah, experts, yeah. I've seen them where they have the different fabric colors yeah, and they kind of- thing. Yeah, and you can check. <laughs> Curling lashes. Yes. An essential, I feel like, yeah. for me anyway. Same, if I don't do it, it just, doesn't look doesn't look the same. <laughs> we both look like, it's like <laughs> kind of spooky. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to choose from eyeliner and um, bureau mascara. and mascara. We'll just choose mascara. Yeah, same. Gonna mm. drink some. So we'll be introducing you to our skincare ingredients that was sourced from Jeju Island and Tokta Island. Mm. Should we get started? Yes, I can't wait to talk all about Innisfree and Round Lab. Wow. Specifically, this line from Innisfree is their most popular, most famous best-selling line, the green tea line, because Jeju has these really beautiful green tea crops. And again, all those delicious minerals, mm. all the good nutrients in the soil create really amazing green tea crops, which when you pull the extracts from them, it's just a really powerful green tea extract that has a lot of really great benefits for the skin. Have you been to Jeju Island? I haven't. I've only been to Seoul, um, but Jeju is very much on the top of my to visit list next time. Yeah. I want to. I want to go. I want to eat that black pork. Is it the pork? Oh yeah, the pork thing. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I've had really good things. Mm. I just want to grill that pork on a little yeah. barbecue. Really enjoy that. And do you prefer oil type or do you prefer cleansing water? What's your normal favorite? I normally use water based mm. um, makeup removers because I like fast and quick, and I don't like. The oil in my eye sometimes doesn't <laughs> feel too good. Of everything you tried in your routine, did you have a favorite product? Just so I know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> oh yes, um, I think definitely like having at least these three is a Ooh. good combination. Three way tie. Like. Yeah, but if I had to choose one, I think I'd really like the toner because mm. you can use that in like a few different ways. So please stay tuned and we'll see you next week. Yorabun, kamsamnida, sarangyo. Alrighty, we are all done. All done. Yeah. Getting back. Thank Team is so amazing. Much. The yeah. amazing Jenny and Nathan from the Korean yes. Culture Center. Yeah. And when are the videos coming out again? The 13th of April? 13th of April and 20th of April. Yes. yes. So I'll pop all the information down below. But be sure to go check out their channel as well. I had an amazing time filming today. Thank you so much for having me. No worries. Yay. Thank you. Yay. Yay. All right, let's go. <laughs> all done with filming. 
We took all of our makeup off for the Korean skincare video. It's a bit noisy here. <laughs> but I had the best time. The team was so lovely. And I can't wait to see how the videos turn out. But yes, I will pop all of the information for the videos below. Also, for my Australian babies, there will be a competition running where you can win some prizes, some Korean skincare, some Korean makeup, which is really cool. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, yeah, I had a really good day today and it was such an amazing opportunity. I'm feeling a little warm and fuzzy. <laughs> but I'm also pretty hungry. Got to work hard and eat harder. So I'm going to head back to the hotel and get some tasty snacks. Okay, I have freshened up. I'm feeling pretty good, probably from all the delicious cream skincare that we applied for the video. But I am going to head out now and do a little shopping. I kind of want to see if I can get a bath bomb because we have a lovely bathtub and I don't have one in my apartment. So I want to take advantage of that for sure. I've already had two baths, don't worry. But like, you know, the bath bomb experience, I would like. Um, and then we're going to grab some dinner. But yeah, I'm going to just go for a quick browse in the CBD. And I am a little hungry, so I think I'm going to eat a muesli bar that I found in my tote bag. I don't know when I put it there. It was a while back, but it's still good. I'm sure it's fine. Update, I ate the muesli bar. It was fine. I love all the old arcades in Sydney. They are so pretty. We have a couple in Brisbane, but these ones are just a little extra spice, the ones in Sydney and Melbourne. Pretty. Okay, but did they yassify the Hague's man? He just looks kind of yassified, you know what I mean? Got that beauty filter. Mm. Did you see the size of that zucchini? It was such a huge zucchini. That's a huge zucchini. <laughs> Hey, look at this lovely vloggy footage. And then we also we need we need a nice little mm. nice Yeah, see yes. Okay, it is the next morning. I promptly fell asleep <laughs> after dinner when we got back to the room. It was really, really fun. It was really great because it is the first time that Max and Dan and Alex and I have all been together. So it's really nice to finally get everyone in the same room because obviously we are from Brisbane, we're in Sydney, etc. etc. So it's really nice. We had a lot of Thai food and some cocktails. It was really, really good. This morning we are checking out. Uh, Max has got his flight back to Brisbane and I'm going to hang in Sydney for longer. I'm going to go stay with Alex um, and we're just going to be co-workers because when you both work from home it is kind of nice to have a co-worker and we do similar things. So it is nice to do that. <laughs> so we are going to go check out now and then we're going to go to breakfast and we're going to try and see if we can get pancakes again today. I know if people from Sydney are probably like really really but look really yeah <laughs> pancakes and then we are going to the samsung onyx screening of the batman because it's a special screen yes <laughs> um maybe someone potentially changed their flight free of charge to slightly later so we could make the screening of the batman at the samsung onyx so team for that i'm getting my pancakes it's happening So I actually realized I forgot to say what my outfit is today, so I'm going to quickly do a quick rundown. Um, the t-shirt is from Chu, the dress is secondhand reformation, oh la la, shoes, we're going to turn that down to the shoes. The shoes are with Smith, socks are from somewhere, yes style maybe, um, jacket and bag are from Princess Polly, scratch here is from Lily Silk, and the smoothie is my boyfriend's but I'm still okay. If someone from Sydney could please explain 
entertainment quarter and what like I realize it's next to a sports place stadium and I think a uni it's a very strange location <laughs> we're here to see Batman on the Samsung on a screen but yeah very bizarre it's kind of like being at a royal show which four people overseas it's like a county fair but also like I don't it's kind of like Universal City Walk like a theme park but it's not you have cinemas and you have multiple chain restaurants that I think it's a uni but then it's also like a sports thing I'm confused also the weather's really nice look at that lovely like what is this have we figured anything out yet like what is going on it's also like a movie studio so bizarre what is going on not the peter rabbit 2 the titanic experience yeah look you can see james cameron's titanic in big letters what oh yeah true how bizarre it looks like a theme park well like you know like universal or yeah, I know. movie world oh that's so bizarre and why that did you see that the wine barrels are leaking wine is it actually wine did yes you try it? someone over there was like put their finger to it and licked it and was like mmm wine and i'm like what's going on the wine is leaking do you want to drink for the movie like i just don't think i'm properly conveying how bizarre this is there's a ballet studio there's multiple chain restaurants there's like a snowboard simulator but there's a uni but there's also cinemas it's like but it's also sort of empty but then there are some people here and they seem to be walking the path but i think people like i don't it's like a campus but it's also like a theme park but there's nothing to do but there is but there's like two things i'm kylo ren oh you're kylo ren yeah oh <laughs> i look like mario when he gets stepped on Okay, this place is so weird. So, I think we're the only people in the cinema, which makes sense. It looked like there was one other person. It looked like there was one other person, but it might just be us, which is very funny. You aren't sitting in just any seat. You're sitting in a Hoyt's extra comfy recliner. Oh! <laughs> Please let us fully film the Batman uh, <laughs> at the end of the movie. Someone is headed off to the airport. Womp womp. But the Batman was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was really, really good. Alright, I'm about to head back to the city. Just have a quick little poke around before I take my bag up from the hotel and get out of there. But I don't know if this is relevant to this video, but The Batman was actually so good. Probably my favorite Batman movie. Five stars, hearted on letterboxed. I am, yeah, so good. I'm doing it. I'm uh, back again, back with a vengeance. Batman theming. Alrighty, but our treats. So now I'm gonna get out back to the hotel and then I'm gonna go see Alex. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. oh. Cake reveal. Wow. What happened to his eye? <laughs> Looks good. Ooh. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. This entire vlog is just me eating things. And say, oh, la la. The best cake I've eaten in Very my whole good. Oh, mascara smuggies. Tasty. It's really nice. POV. <laughs> <laughs>